So we want to look at the intake air temperature and we are a blistering 267 degrees in my jacket. We're going to work on a 2002 Nissan Xterra and what we've got here is if we go into our trouble codes we've got a P0113 and a P0127 so ignore the misfire one working on that one but what we've got is a bad uh, intake air temperature sensor and the sensor lives right here in front of the air box. And this should be applicable to all 2000 to 2004 Nissan Xterras, the first gens with the 3.3 V6. It probably also crosses over to Pathfinders and other, you know, Nissans with the 3.3 V6 and maybe even some without the 3.3 V6. But for sure the 3.3 V6, if we go in here, we can go into, um, and it's it's sprinkling rain here, but I need to get this thing fixed. So we want to look at the intake air temperature, and we are a blistering 267 degrees in my jacket. And what we can do is a little test here, just to make sure our circuit is good is we're going to reach in here and we're going to push and just unplug the sensor. There's a little push connector here. Just push on this and pull and the, it will unplug and we drop down to zero. We can see on our graph we were at 267, we dropped straight down to zero. That should be good enough to say that our wiring is in good shape. So what we're going to do here is just pull this sensor straight out. It pulls just straight out of the intake tube. It takes a little rubber gasket with it. And what I've got here is a brand new sensor. This is like 12 bucks on Amazon. And we're just going to compare them real quick. They look the same. And we're going to take and pull our little rubber boot off. And of course we drop our sensor. Alright, so picked up the sensor. We're going to put this off to the side so you can still see it. We're going to pull this rubber boot off and it pretty much just peels off just like that. And we're just going to drop it down on the new sensor. And I guess we could, before we did this, could have plugged in the new sensor, but I feel pretty good about it. We'll go ahead and plug it in now. And like I said, it's just got a little push connector. You can see here, just this little push connector. You push in and pull, and it'll come unplugged. We're just going to push the sensor in. I'm going to face it to where, you know, it's in line. It's not really going to matter. And then we're going to plug it in, and what we'll see, we'll zoom y'all out so you can see the temperature now. We're at 57 degrees. So, easy fix. I use this uh, four seal OB2, OBD2 uh, reader. Works well. There's a bunch of them on the market. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, to this OBD2 uh, dongle, whatever you want to call it, plugs in, you download the app to your phone, uh, it works well, and then I'll put a link to the sensor I bought, 12 bucks on Amazon, or at least at the time of this video. So 2000 to 2004 Xterra with a 3.3 V6, easy fix, five minutes, you're back on the road. So we're back in the car out of the rain wiped my phone off so it doesn't have rain all over it 
luckily my camera is waterproof. Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go look at this just one more time. Like I said, I showed you we're reading 55 degrees now. So we've got a good reading there. And then we're going to go back into our trouble codes. And I'm actually going to screenshot this because I'm still working on the, oh, there we go. So we've got these pending codes. Um, yeah, so it was reading, we've got a coolant temperature of 190 when it uh, read the uh, air intake. So. I'm working on these misfire, this misfire here, and one of these other, the circuit high is probably when we unplugged the, uh, unplugged the sensor, or when I initially unplugged it to do the test, it probably threw the P0113 code. So your main code that you're going to get for this error is this P0127. So what we're going to do now that we've screenshot this because I, like I said I'm still working on this P0303 I'm going to clear the codes and we're in good shape so that's it Easy fix. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe for more.